Hi and welcome to Excel VBA tutorial of a lookup developed using user form. So let me show you guys how this works. I can select this and just select any of the student ID and that is the details of this very student. Let's give that a try again. You see that? And let's take it right up. And supposing we decide to play this and we still have this, you can always search and see all of these student information. We can exit if we want and we can do whatever we like. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Excel development environment and we put one of these beautiful tutorial together. Let's do that now guys. Welcome back to Excel development environment. Uh, what I intend to do now is I'm going to use this very data that I actually copied from one of my access tutorial. I'm going to use that to create a lookup. There's nothing happening here, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file and let's save it as macro enable. Okay, let it be macro enable. So let me give it a name. I'm going to call it YouTube student lookup v lookup right that is the name of my system youtube underscore student lookup so i'm going to click on save now but make sure if you guys intend to follow me along you have to save it as excel macro enable as well click on save that is it it's saved now the next thing is to go to this developer tab but let's assume you don't have a developer tab on board all you need to do is go to file select options and this dialog box pops up go to customize ribbon and make sure your developer menu is checked and click on ok that's it so i'm going to go back to developer menu there you can always select alt f11 that is it right there alt f11 click on visual basic and this is the development environment so i'm going to now click on insert and let's select user form now i will now change the size of this user form to approximately let's make the height about 800 and the width i'm going to make that 1024 there the next thing I want to do is, you see, toolbox here. I'm going to now select frame right there. That's going to be for my tie to get rid of the content on that frame. And that is the caption there. Get rid of it. Just copy it along. Bring it right down. The next thing is, I need a combo box here. For the student ID, we also need a label. I have in total 16 fields, so let's copy this underneath here and add a text box. So, what I'll then do is copy all of this text box and just speed it up. Okay. Let's just speed it up again, copy and paste it right there. Yeah, and I need one more here. In total, I have 16 fields, so there they are. So I think the very first one is the student ID. So if you count it along, that is A to P right there. That's it, 16 in total. So let's go back to our user interface i'm going to change the frame let's change that to let's change the color to something green the back color so go to the palette and just change that to that green and in here i'm now going to enter a label there so i might as well just speed up the whole process and get back to you guys right there guys this is how it looks now but nothing is happening let's run it and you see it there's nothing happening here okay nothing at all okay and that so what i'm going to now do is let's go straight to the excel itself right here and i will select my let's select the student id take it right down there hold on to the shift key there and in here 
change the name of that to go look you can change it change it to whatever you want but i've just changed mine to go look make sure you press enter and that's it now i'm going to now go back to my user form here select this combo box scroll right down what i need now is the roll source inside the roll source i'm going to change that to go look and press enter and that's it so if i run it now all of those information all of the data on that row look at it on that field i mean look at it it's right there so this is the data i'm going to use for my lookup so drop that down and just select anyone now to look up that's very simple double click on this there okay i'm going to start by declaring two variables so i'm going to call one q and the other one p let's declare them as long there and the next thing is let's say q equals application dot worksheet worksheet function actually worksheet function dot count right and that will be count a then the worksheet i'm using is that will be sheet number one dot range and I want the range to start from a column a there and close that press enter now the next thing is we now use a for loop so i'm going to say for p equals 1 to 15 because i have the total of 16 so let me say user form might as well use me equals uh, that will be text box really and this text box we're going to be counting them accordingly so, which means and we have to arrange the text box one two three and so on i'll show that to you guys as soon as i am ready so dot value so whatever value the text box is equals application so the application is going to be this anyway let's copy all of that instead of, instead of typing paste it right there application workbook uh, worksheet sorry dot v lookup there so what i will then do is i will now use c l n that is to convert to so integer whatever is in there me dot combo box whatever i have inside my combo box here dot value and close that comma and let's collapse this so that we have enough room to finish up our code just move that aside so there i'm now going to say sheet one dot range and that will be from a and starting from rule number two comma and p say and q there this p should be uppercase p here right and comma p plus one comma zero there we go i think i may have to let's just break that so that you guys can see it all there that's it so the next thing is let's just say next p all right there so let's try this out and just see how it's going to look like so i'm going to run it now 
and just select any of these there we go look at that guys you see how the lookup works select any of that we can look up on this very student and that's the name of the student let's come back up here and so on so all I just need to do now is to take care of these two and we can then call it the end of the program so let's come right here the first thing is you see this very one I'm going to just call this let's call that let's call that function uh, the function in there so call there we we'll use that to search and let's now go back in here let's go back in here click on the form and double click on clear and right there the following lines of codes are entered for clear okay so if I run this program now select any of those I can clear it and I can also search for this particular student number there see that now exit so let's end it and uh, double click on exit and right here let's speed that up there we go that's for exit okay have a good look at the lines of code that's the lines of code for exit the lines of code for clear and the lines of code for lookup itself let's move that up so that you can see there we go so I'm going to run it now and that's just to call on this function so run it select clear exit no exit yes one more time select clear search and exit so let me show you guys the lines of code again there we go those are the lines of codes that is the lookup for lookup from here down here and just to search the combo box to and here exit and from here down here reset so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this brief tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed uh please do subscribe and like and you can also be a member of the channel and bye for now